Move along, buddy, move along. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Doesn't matter anymore. Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? Uh, something you need, Deke? Sorry, just wandering around. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez, dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs, medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. 
Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, sure yeah. Yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. That was a good time. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Watch. Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Copy that. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Lost one! Get me the best! He killed me! Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. I need scrap. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, that'll hold. I've seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. Another Nero injector. Good.
Mm. Ow. Feeling stronger already. Bunch of murdering assholes can't let me ever get out of here alive. That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. Okay. All right. Where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. I hope this is high enough. Boozer. Hey, Steakin, come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. See how, you know, how everything's going. Good. Good, Dick. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history, but we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds, or rippers, or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. 
the strongest survive. The strongest take, and the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. This is the law and order or a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. Here's the hatch. Yeah, I knew you had one. Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it up pretty good. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Ready to go back at it. Deer crossing, wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. I spell it. <clears throat> St. John, you there? Wow. Yeah, we are. I'm here. Uh, hey, go with you, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out of here. And look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit. Just give me neck for me. And dude, this napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Yeah, sure, Weaver. Uh... I gotta find a way inside.
use this. Taylor. Deacon St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... The doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I don't want to... Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel is not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir.
Can I help you? I guess I'm just distracted. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Well, yeah, makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Huh? Ah, uh, okay. See ya, Corporal. D, Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? Stay safe, Sarge. Okay. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. You're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Corey out. <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. Alright, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt.
Injector. Nero had all the good shit. <laughs> Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> okay. you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh, my God. Are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... I 
Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I'd killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years, but I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back, because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How are you talking, man? Gentlemen, 
This is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I, I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... All right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Got more Molotovs, ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings, whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that.
kind of the plan. Hurry, please. Please just tell me that's all of them. I can't believe it. You did it. You wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Come back. Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news. Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't meet him, Lieutenant Whitaker. I want to tell him the news in person. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of them. Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The office's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Eddie's cup. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John. I'm here, Kevin. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. 
Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Korea. Important project? What project? <laughs>